It can be really enjoyable and gratifying to interact with computers. Why is that? Why are computers so gratifying to interact with? Just, just even typing, right? It's like I type the key, look at that, there it is. There's a sense of actualization. So humans, we're trying to shape and change the world around us. And we look for success in our ability to do that. And computers are constantly providing that for us. It's important to understand this because this is like a kind of a powerful relationship. And if you continue using computers in any way, shape, or form, and particularly if you go into software development and start writing computer programs and other things, you're going to get a real, real solid dose of this particular um, set of you know, self-gratifying uh, uh, reinforcements. Every time I type a key, something happens in the world, and it's exactly what I want it to happen. Every time I click somewhere, I'm controlling this computer, and the computer is doing exactly what I want. And when they've studied the brains of people that are interacting with computers, every one of these little micro interactions is triggering these little bits of dopamine. These little bits of happy, pleasurable, satisfied chemicals are being released into my brain every time I interact with this device because it does what I want. Right? I mean, it, and, and there's so many things I can do, and the, the interaction with it is, is so, um, you know, it's so multivariate. I mean, there's other things to do what we want. I mean, driving a car can be fun because the car goes where you want it to go. But computers have the, 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 the bandwidth of my interaction with the computer, I would argue, is a lot higher. And as you start to be able to do more powerful things with computers, you know, the ability to write computer programs that take the entire machine and get it to serve, you know, whatever purposes you've designed is really, really satisfying. And this is just something to be aware of. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But we need to understand the fact that this relationship is really different than a relationship with almost anything else in the world. People don't work this way. You don't just get to you know, have this type of interaction with people. They don't do exactly what you want. They have their own, um, own ideas of what's right, and it's more of a negotiation about what happens when you work with other people on things. Even animals, even your dog isn't going to do exactly what you want. You know, uh, if it was as easy to train a dog as it was to learn to type, um, I think we'd have a lot more satisfied dog owners out there. But that's one of the fun things about other things in life is that they don't do this. On the other hand, we want to control things, and that's one of the ways that we derive meaning in our lives. And the tiny little micro you know, interactions that I'm having with this computer are a real powerful form of control, and I think that adds up over time. And so over time, you know, it's possible to get very, very drawn into this particular relationship with a powerful entity that will do exactly what you want as long as you tell it exactly what to do. Um, that's just something to be aware of. Uh, when you think about how you interact with computers and how you balance that interaction with computers with other more interesting things in the world that are not quite so satisfying to use.